art scene in San Antonio is burgeoning. It's erupting with a new kind of creativity that no one could have anticipated. From a sleepy artistic town, we've become dynamite. People come to San Antonio to see the culture, to see how different and how what an American city can look like in its differences and celebrating those differences. What we do here in San Antonio matters. We're breaking boundaries in, in dance, in music, in film, uh, in performance art. I think today we're seen uh, as a uh, as a very unique experience, cultural experience that has to do with our artists. All of this is part of the culture and the vibrancy of the city, and I think it's crucial. The artists have always built San Antonio. They're gonna build it better than anybody else. If you look back at the history of San Antonio, San Antonio would be nothing without the arts. Art here is in our life. I think it's extremely important to recognize the contributions of local artists uh, because they are part of the culture of our city. They're extremely important. Their influence is, again, not just local, but it's national and international. It's transnational, precisely because of the experiences from which they come. I can't imagine thinking about American art without thinking and understanding the art of the artists of San Antonio. Jim Cullum has been a great influence in jazz in San Antonio because he was so dedicated to early classic jazz and never gave up that feeling that that jazz was so important, like almost classical music. Well, Jim Cullum has influenced San Antonio in such an extraordinarily specific way. We simply would not have jazz in San Antonio without Jim. He's brought hundreds of people, thousands of people from all over the world to celebrate San Antonio because of his classic jazz music. Jim Cullum brought New Orleans to San Antonio. The Preservation Hall Band came here and performed in a battle of the bands with the Jim Cullum Band. I mean, it was fantastic. And in order to be an artist the way Jim is an artist, this is a guy who even now practices his horn every day. He practices it every day. He does it because he loves it. The definition of great music is that you do it every night. Jim Cullum is that art. Jim, I'm so proud of you for so many reasons. I'm proud of you for playing music, and I'm proud of you for the kind of man you are. And I'm really, really happy that our city is honoring you with this award. I think that because Tomas is from San Antonio, he has influenced not only the arts in San Antonio, but he and San Antonio have influenced the arts nationally and internationally. This genio, who Tomas already is, you know, brings all of that experience, that knowledge, and and comes to San Antonio in a you know in a moment of retirement, so-called retirement, and just gives it all back to us. Rasquachismo is a, a very profound idea that, that really Tomas helped to frame and focus for Chicano thought to come. It's a word used in a, you know, Spanish slang to mean something that was not worthy, that was less than. The idea of um, improvisation and working out of materials at hand in so many different ways, that thought form has touched innumerable careers. I think that that Domas's uh, contributions for me as an academic um, are very are, are very deeply rooted in understanding who he is. I don't think there's anyone alive today that deserves more recognition for the impact on Chicano art and thought than Tomas Ibarra Frausto. Felicidades, Tomas. We are so excited that you got this award. You deserve it more than anybody else. Y te queremos, te queremos mucho.
Maria Lopez in León is a champion of arts and culture, not just in San Antonio, but across the country. I think that helping to build the capacity for arts group in San Antonio is a very important mission that NALAC has undertaken, and uh, as well as helping to fund creative projects. And through that work, she's able to expand opportunities and accessibility for uh, multiple generations and people who come from different backgrounds. She's got her hand in the new young talent throughout the country and those folks who have been creating art for a number of years. Uh, she brings them together. She's able to do that locally as well, get the groups that are all the different groups that are out there to come together under one agenda to further the arts in San Antonio. She's also very fierce and she's bold and she's unapologetic when she really believes in something. We cannot build a community without art. Speaking up on behalf of justice and against, and against inequality is who I am in this life. And finally, creating the change we want to see. So with those three statements, we understand Maria de Leon and her influence. When I think of Maria Lopez de Leon, I just think a bunch of doors opening. And, and she's the type of person that will hold the door open so that enough people can pack the room and really make a change. Congratulations, Maria. This is a well-deserved award. We're very proud of all your efforts through the years, and thank you so much for all that hard work. I think Araneta has been a tremendous influence in the arts in San Antonio, uh, primarily because she is an advocate for African-American artists. Well, African-American art is um, a field that is continuing to grow and to be established, and there are um, historically great donors and great supporters of African-American art. The Pierces are among them. She spent pretty much her life, her adult life, um, trying to ensure that people of color were represented in the arts in San Antonio. One of my favorite interactions with her was um, when she called me one day and she said, you know, I think we should do a tribute to Maya Angelou. Little did I know that, that it would become as big as it did. It was such a success. It was um, an event that brought lots of different kinds of people together from young artists to family members. You could feel the very deep love and respect that Mrs. Pierce had for Maya Angelou. Not only does Araneta ask and people respond, but when people ask Araneta to do something, she has always responded. She's always stepped up to the plate. We are so excited for you and so grateful to you for the work that you have done for black people, but also for art and black art in particular. And we are very grateful that you chair our advisory committee. We could not have done it without you. Thank you so much. Congratulations to you, Araneta, for, for being who you are to the arts. You see uh, an American story in Jesse Trevino. He was uh, born in Monterrey. But as a young kid of 12 children in the family, came over here, struggled to go to school. And at the age of six, he's being honored at the Whitney Museum. You know, I've always considered him an American painter. Um, there's no reason that um, somebody like Jesse Trevino um, should not be present in the halls of art history in America. When he lost everything that is reflected on his art life, that he hadn't uh, uh, really focused on the things that were important, realizing that, you know, if I could ever paint again, I would dedicate my life to painting the people and the places where I'm from. I love the guy, man. I do. And, and uh, when I talk about the, his, his war experience, he's had an effect on me, man. And I see these guys that are coming out of the war right now and they're all hurt and their their bodies are, are tattered and they're women that have two prosthetic legs. It hurts, man. Because you know what, it's not enough 
to 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 a uh, support the veterans. I support the veterans. It's not enough. Go live with one. Go live with one. Or take one on. Make make them your friend and 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 help them. You know. So that's that's why I say that that there's the artist, right? But but on the other end, you know, there's the hurt person. You know. I've got nothing but mad respect for Jesse. He's he's a he's a, a painter, a true painter. My sense of gratitude that I will always and respect that I will always have for people for artists like Jesse is that they have enabled me, they have opened up doors way before I was around that have helped place me um, and to propel me um, where I am and where I will be tomorrow. I'd like to congratulate all of tonight's honorees uh, on behalf of the DCCD and the San Antonio Art Commission. They are an integral part of our community. They are what makes us unique and vibrant and we're very grateful for them.